Hey, this is Ron. I am uh, about to head out to the local haunted swamp. We have a haunted swamp here in southern Idaho that uh, is kind of a Halloween attraction. Um, so that's what the outside garb is for, and I'm waiting for my daughter to come out from basketball camp. But uh, I got asked today about, <clears throat> had somebody hit me up on Reddit and asked me, about being a application specialist they're they're tired of their they're tired of being an x-ray tech i guess they've they said they've been an x-ray tech for like 11 years and um saw that i'm on reddit a lot talking about radiology if you haven't been there you should check out the radiology subreddit but uh they wanted to know my opinion of um application specialists so here's the deal it's one of those offshoots that if you're a tech and you're maybe tired of being a tech or you just want to change, uh, change the scenery, whatever, application specialist is really cool. The app specialists are the people that come to your hospital to teach you how to use the equipment. So this person was an x-ray tech, for example, so something they could do as a new career but yet staying or retaining the knowledge that they've already learned. Um, they could go work for a company like GE, for example, who is the gold standard for C arms. Now that's probably arguable to some people, but pretty much the 9800, 9900 C arms are gold standard. And uh, when a hospital buys a new one, somebody from GE is sent out to train the staff how to use it. And so I was telling this guy, uh, as an app specialist, your job would be to go around wherever your company sends you and to train technologists how to use the equipment. Um, then he wanted to know, you know, how, how much travel? Well, it depends on where you live. I told him if, if you live in Phoenix and you got 50 hospitals around you, you you're going to stay right around there most of the time. But if you're in Southern Idaho, like I am, and there's only one hospital here, if I was an app specialist, my, the company I work for would be flying me all over the place to get to the hospitals. So I would have to fly to say Seattle and stay the night and then spend the whole next day or maybe two days training the staff how to use it and then stay the night and fly back the next day. Uh, he wanted to know how, how often do they go out on, on gigs, training gigs, and you know, it's gonna depend on your location, but it's gonna be every week, that's your job. So if you're in a highly populated area like Phoenix, you, you can hit two or three hospitals in a week or more. Uh, if you've got to fly somewhere, you, you may just do one hospital that day, another hospital the next day and fly back, but it's pretty much every week, you know, it's a job. Um, so they'll be training up front. They have to completely train you on their product. You have to know everything about it because you're going to be representing the company and teaching people how to use it. Um, you'll get expense accounts. They'll pay for all your travel. They'll pay for your food. Uh, most likely you'll get a car if you're doing a lot of local travel. Um, so, you know, when you, when you fly for your job, they pay for the, the airline tickets and your food while you're gone. So when you fly out that, you know, if you're leaving at six o'clock in the morning and you're at the airport and you grab a bagel and a coffee, you keep the receipt and you turn it in at the end of your trip or at the end of the month and you, you get reimbursed for it. Or they give you a company credit card and you use that credit card just to buy everything. But they've. They pay all your food while you're away from home. They pay all the room and board, you know, hotel fees, parking fees, uh, Uber, Lyft, that kind of stuff. However you have to get around town. Um, so you have an expense account. You have your base salary that pays you your base salary. There's typically no bonuses or commissions on app reps because you're not selling a product. You're a, you're a service provider. So you travel. You provide the service of teaching people. And I know a guy that did it for GE out of the Phoenix market. Um and he would tell me that if he got flown to a hospital in California and he was supposed to be there all day training techs, he may only have two techs show up because they're so busy and understaffed in the department that they couldn't get away to go learn the, uh, the apps. He said, I, I'm here. I just sit here. There's nothing I can do. I, you can't make people show up. Your job is to show up and train. If the techs don't show up, you're still going to get paid. Um, so that was an interesting aspect, I thought. But... Uh, I think that's pretty much it. You, you get a base salary, you get an expense account, you travel a lot, which means if you're if you're lucky, you get to claim those points on your travel. Uh, like I travel somewhat in mine, so I claim the Marriott points if I get put up in a Marriott hotel. And um, if I'm gassing up a company car, there's a card that I have that gets points j just aside from the card that you pay with. Um, 
and uh, that's about it. So that's application specialist. Every vendor has them. Um, sales is different from applications, which is different from uh, the people that fix the equipment. Those are usually called field service engineers. So the, the vendors, GE, Siemens, Philips, Canon, CareStream, uh, any of those kind of companies, they have a sales team, they have an apps team that teaches customers how to use it, and they have the service team that uh, fixes the machines. So there's another option for you in the field of radiology. If you're a technologist, you actually don't have to be a tech to get that uh, service rep job. Um, the application specialist job, you can be trained on, on how to teach the machine to people, but you're at a disadvantage because a tech knows why you use the buttons that you're being taught to use. Um, so these, m these vendors would rather hire a technologist for all those positions, actually, because we understand what's going on. But hope that helps some of you. And uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment below. I'm happy to make a little five minute video like this whenever I'm sitting around waiting on the kids or whatever. Um, I've been in radiology for a long time. I can answer a lot of questions for you. And I know there's a lot of you out there with questions. So I'm happy to help. Let me know. And if you've gotten this far in the video, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. I'd like to see more subscription going on and uh, hit the like button. That helps, uh, I guess, YouTube puts it more on the front page for people to see the more likes it has. So anyway, that's what I know. Hope it helps you. See you later.